Hey guys, welcome back. So this is video 20 in this little mini playlist. What we're going to be doing in this video is removing an additional domain controller, which is DC02. So if you're ready for the video, let's get into it. Thank you. All right, guys. Welcome back. So this is uh, video 20 in this playlist. Uh, the last video we removed a read-only domain controller. In this video we're going to be removing an additional domain controller which is DC02. So we're only going to be left <coughs> excuse me, we're only going to be left with our primary domain controller. Okay, so in this video we're going to be working with DC01 and DC02 and we're going to be removing DC02 from our forest and cleaning up the metadata. All right, so let's just um, minimize this and we're going to bring up our our uh, domain controllers. This is DC, whoops, I don't want to do that. And um, this is DC02. As you see, it's still in Active Directory. Let's open up Active Directory users and computers on DC02. And then we can do the same thing uh, We'll do the same thing on DC01, but if you see on DC02, we have two domain controllers, right? So if we go on the same thing on here, let's open up, um, not, yeah, we can leave sites and services because we're gonna be, we're gonna be utilizing that in a second. So if we go to domain controllers in our Active Directory, we still have two domain controllers, right? Likewise, if we right click on here, we, uh, not that, we right click and we do change domain controllers, we still have our two domain control. This is if you want to move FISMO roles around and stuff like that. Actually, when you want to move FISMOs, you do Operation Master, and then we just change these around. But this is that's for another another day. So we're going to go back into DC02, and we're going to go ahead and um, start removing the role. Okay, it's the same exact process as we removed the uh, RODC. So we're going to go to Manage. We're going to go to Remove roles and features next we're going to be choosing this domain next and once we uncheck here we're going to get that error we're probably going to get the error that we have to demote it first once we demote it first here we go demote the domain control and then we're able to remove the the um, active directory domain services and dns role all right so let's go ahead and continue here we're already logged in now as our domain admin so we're perfectly fine there. Let's go hit next. And then we'll go ahead and proceed with the removal. We're gonna be removing DNS and our global catalog. Okay, hit next. And this is gonna be the new password when we reboot the machine because it's not gonna be assigned to the domain no anymore. We're gonna be logging in as a local uh, administrator. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that, put those credentials in hit next, and then remove the Active Directory from, you know, Active Directory Domain Services from this computer without um, updating Forest metadata. We're gonna be removing the, the, the metadata ourselves manually. So let's go ahead and click on Demote. Once this is done demoting, it'll, it'll remove the, uh, the uh, no, actually, once it's demoted, we're gonna have to m manually remove these once it reboots and everything like that. So let's go ahead and go back to DC01, same thing. We can go ahead and run a few commands. <clears throat> commands, And um, we can do net dom query DC. We see how, this is what I wanted to run on the last video prior to doing it. At least I caught it this time. I just thought about it and that's why I ran here and did it. So we see the two domain controllers here, you see? So once that one is removed, we're only gonna see the single. So if we do slash question mark, we can see all the switches that we can run with this commandlet, right? Net down query, we can run net down query domain. We can run um, workstation server DC, which is domain controller, and it'll show you what we're querying for. And PDC is a primary domain controller, our FISMO roles, the, the trusts. So let's just, you know, while we're waiting, let's do PDC. We did this yesterday. And obviously our only PDC is uh, DC01. And the way we would know that is because if we do, we can run that command and FSMO, 
and we can see the PDC right here is all of our roles reside on on this domain controller say if we do trust we have actually we have this trust you know this is not found because we I removed this already all right so let's just see what else what else do we got what else we're cracking and lacking with um, OU let's do OU we don't have anything in there let's see what else uh, do, 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 do. let's use server let's give the list of the the server servers with the uh, accounts in the domain let's we'll give that a second to query um, but while that's querying let's go back to DC02 and see looks like that rebooted already so let's go ahead and log back in with our local because we just if you remember we we just made a local password because there's no more domain admin right so that's the reason why we have to um, go ahead and give the the local administrator account a password so this is a pop-up with the server manager and to continue the process and then we'll go ahead and continue removing ADDS DNS etc let's give this a moment to come up we'll give it a second See, I like this says promote because Active Directory is still installed, DNS is still installed, so we can we can promote it again if you wanted to, and um, which we don't. We want to remove the role. So let's go ahead and hit next here. We can re go ahead and hit next, which is the server that we want to work with. <clears throat> we want to remove Active Directory domain services. We should be able to do it now without any problems, and DNS services as well. Remove this feature. Okay, next. I mean, remove the role, I'm sorry. There's no features that we have to remove. All right, and then go ahead and remove that. So let's go back to DC01. And we can see it'll show up a few servers. But, and then there, there's a few other uh, switches that we can run. But you, you get the idea. So we can do net DOM. And then there's different, you know, there's query, there's remove, there's, you know, there's a whole bunch of different kinds of um, commands that you can run with the net DOM. All right, so now let's go ahead, remember if we go all the way up here, that's why I don't want to clear out the screen. Uh, see how we have the two domains right here, DC01, DC02. So if we click on, uh, if we do net DOM query, uh, DC, it's still there, probably because it's still not done removing. Okay, uh, pending restart. Okay, let's close this. Let's go ahead and reboot. And once it's rebooted, it sh now it should be fully removed. All right, let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and just open another. Let's see if we can do it now. Net DOM Q U E R Y B C. We'll give it a second. It's probably gonna take a second. But while that's doing its thing, we can start cleaning up the metadata. So let's go ahead and do domain controllers. We can remove this. Remove, delete, hit yes here. And that's fine. We wanna delete this domain controller anyway, because we already, we still have our primary up. Okay, yes. Do you wanna continue with the deletion? Yes, I do. Okay, so now that is deleted. And what we can do here is rep admin sync all. And I think it's, let me see, make sure it's uh, that domain, uh, that switch. Uh, sync all, replicate, that's sync all. Synchronize domain control, rep, okay, so. Let's do uh, let's do this. Let's do a replicate and why didn't it work? Uh, is a full. Yeah, we have to do a full. Oh, what happened? This is weird. Oh, okay. The destination, the source. 
uh, obviously, yeah, this this should be um, win2k19-dc01 and then win2k19-dc02, okay? And then dc equals infosec hat space dc equals local unknown dot local oh. return to it doesn't really matter at this period point it, that that should that shouldn't be an issue um all right so now let's go ahead and go to sites and services go to servers we can take out dc02 now we can remove this yes and then we can go ahead and just refresh here now let's just go ahead and clear the screen and we'll do net dom query dc now we only have the one dc now see all right cool so let's go back to dc02 you probably rebooted already which is good let's log in okay and now pretty much the same exact thing that we did yesterday well yeah i think it was yesterday um now it's back to a work group and what we're going to do now is go ahead and shut this down and we're gonna we don't need it anymore so let's go ahead and shut down and let's see almost done let's shut this down hurry up and once this is shut down we can go ahead and whack it so we'll just right click manage if you're using vmware workstation just delete it from the disk hit yes and then that should be good okay let's go ahead and make this what there's no more there's no more um no more dc02 which is good perfect so what we're going to do next, this is a 20th video. This is pretty much concludes that video. Um, we don't have the metadata. Obviously we only have the one domain controller to take care of. So actually we can remove this too while we're at it because I don't have that domain controller anymore. That's fine. Yes. Uh, can I delete the object? Okay. That's fine. I'll take care of that. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much the conclusion of this video. I want to pretty much this is video 20 the next video I'm just going to throw in a, a little bonus because I think I said it in the last video what I want to do is set up um, those two Windows 10 uh, machines those two Windows 2 client Windows 10 clients and we're going to take them off the domain just decommission those as well and that will conclude this playlist and um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and more to come I'm going to be doing some stuff on Udemy just a little out, you know, a little uh, announcement. I'm going to be putting together some, a few things on Udemy for Windows Server 2012, getting more into depth into certain subjects like VPN or direct access, more into the Hyper-V stuff and more into, you know, deeper roles, you know, deeper things. And um, we're going to be using the same exact thing, VMO Workstation. Um, but I want to go into more details like, what is a good server to get? Like if you're really looking to get into the, the workforce or the IT stuff, like if you want to have a physical machine to set up these labs, you know, because for an example, some people may not be able to you do a lot of these labs because like my VMware, excuse me, my, um, my Hyper-V servers, they have 32 gigs each. That's 64 gigs of memory. You know, some people only have 16 gigs of memory, right? So obviously you can, you know, the minimum to run uh, Windows Windows 2019, I think is two gigs, right? Two gigs, or it's, I think it's two gigs, 32 gig hard drive, you know, so, but I always double it, you know, like if it's recommended, you know, four gigs, I do eight. If you have the memory, you can do whatever you like if you have it. But yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be coming soon and I wanna be starting to work on that. So just to uh, give you guys a sneak peek and insight of what I wanna be working on. So stay tuned for that. And um, until next time, 
I really appreciate everything and uh, hope you, hopefully you guys uh, like everything I'm doing. If you guys have any comments, just leave it down below and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Thank you.